Go ahead, hit it reverse. How fast are we going reverse? Oh boy! Oh, we're going so quick! One wheel peeling in reverse! Holy shit! Oh yeah, sorry, sorry. What's going on everybody welcome back today guys to the channel forza horizon 5 back here on the xbox series x on a brand new season this is season six here they've included the mustang mach e now all you have to do is complete the six chapters of the drift story that just came out uh quite easy drift mexico i think it was called um and you know it wasn't too much of a challenge it was cool it was different you know and i wanted to use the mach e today to do a little build take it online maybe do a drift adventure see how we do but i wanted to put it to the test today with the brand new thrustmaster eSwap X Pro Controller. Today is sponsored by Thrustmaster. Huge thank you to the folks over there for sending over this kit. This is a brand new setup eSwap X Pro Controller from Thrustmaster. I have been waiting to get this thing. This is a really cool controller. I think it's been out now for a few months and I have finally got my hands on this thing. Really excited to be using it for today's episode. Huge thank you to Thrustmaster for supplying this thing out and this is probably one of the cleanest setups I've ever seen. Right, from everything from the packaging, the pieces, to the quality of the controller. I was very much shocked on how well these pieces went in and out of the controller. If you guys don't know, this is a swappable controller. You guys can pick up different types of kits on the website, which I will leave down below for you guys. Make sure you guys go ahead, check it out. Rustmaster's got something really cool here today. I was not expecting it to be as satisfying as it was, but when you take those sticks out and replace them with the other sticks or just, you know, take them in and out, right? It's a pretty satisfying thing to do. Do you want to test it to see how it's going to work as we're playing? I don't know what's going to happen if I take them out as we're playing but we're gonna do some testing today on the brand new eSwap X Pro controller and uh, this thing's pretty wild we got the full adjustable trigger stops at the back we have adjustable sticks right I mean we got the trigger stops we got headset support on there we got mute support this controller has basically everything that I need and so of course make sure you guys go ahead click the links down below it'll take you to Thrustmaster's website where you guys can pick up anything to do with the controllers anything for your racing simulators or your flight simulators everything will be found down below and if you guys need extra support or want to join in the community thrustmaster has their brand new discord server which uh, i just joined in as well too and there's actually quite a few people basically anything thrustmaster related will be found in this discord server so anything you guys need help with any troubleshooting brand new product releases everything will be in there huge thank you for watching check the links down below for the discord as well as the brand new eSwap x pro controller links huge thanks for watching and uh let's slide this mustang mach e for today hopefully we can do some upgrades on this thing huge thanks for watching watching it of course don't forget to slap that like one ford bang there it is s1 900 1400 horsepower on this thing we have four buckets in here with a really cool wheel look at this wheel let's go over custom upgrades oh we can't do much we can do tires at least which is nice i don't know what's on here at the moment we're gonna go with the snow tires i think i'm going with the rtr black and yellow here Pascal 64FR, appreciate it. Jeez, it looks big on the back though. But it just sounds like an RC car. It's actually quite fun to be honest with you. So we're gonna have quite a bit of traffic. Oh, oh, 145. Let's see what it tops out at here. I'm actually really curious. Go, go. Probably not that much, 160? 160 top out. Okay. That's not terrible. Now, it would be cool if we can actually change the drivetrain as we're driving. We can't, unfortunately. We have to come to a complete stop. Let's do that. Yeah, thank you. Hold it. And then it goes to rear wheel drive. Right? So, I wish that it wasn't that case, right? It was a little bit easier to do so. Um, and it seems like... Oh, okay. So, you don't have to hold it. You just click it. I thought my damn dumbass had to damn hold it. You just click it and it goes into it. Okay, first things first, we're going to take this to the mountain. I'm curious to see what we can do with this car. I really am. I, I feel like this could be a, you know, a top 10 build out here. But yeah, really liking this controller though. This was the main focus of today that I wanted to do. Having the brand new Mach-E is just, you know, icing on the cake for today's episode. But damn, man, love the actual clicks of these buttons too. Like they are super clean and consistent. Looks good, feels good. This off when I was unboxing it, but something really cool about this is the way that you take out the D-pad, right? There's this tool that goes into here 
and then you turn it sideways and then you just pull and it comes right out how cool is that and then put it back in push it back in turn pull it's done changed i love this thing let's flip this car nope. so i'm thinking oh whoa 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 jeez we pulled the ultimate ken block right there let's see that again well that was cool there we go now of course this will work on the xbox and i do believe it'll work on the pc don't quote me on that though but i'm almost certain okay excuse me sir in this car we're just sliding it we are on simulation steering and we have the snow tires on so we'll see how this goes we have no clutch do we no there's no clutch at all on this thing of course not why would there be a clutch on this car right stupid man hopefully you guys are enjoying your week we got the weekend fast approaching okay here we go here we go i may have to potentially toss back on those stock tires this thing is all over it's slippery but i kind of like it though right i mean i don't know we're going for a high score in our drift zone hopefully we can do it here with our brand new e-swap oh boy okay well it's my tires man it's my tires hold on we need to do a quick tune here i'm gonna bring it back on the uh on that damn story run that we did which i mean the story was cool but i mean was it though really i mean it wasn't that cool i guess it was cool that we had the voices in there right? this thing's looking actually quite good we're already at 105 going up if i can do better than my personal best on the brand new thrustmaster e-swap x right oh i'll be quite happy just gotta keep it consistent don't do anything stupid the fact that we don't have a clutch though is actually kind of helping Keeps the car a little bit more consistent than I want. <gasps> we went completely backwards almost. Cool those, I mean, you can take the triggers on and off mid-drive. I mean, I do have them on right now because it's perfect pressure when we are braking just to kind of, you know, lock them up for a second. But uh, I can change them. I'm going to try and look for it here once I get on this spot. Yeah. Okay, so I just, I just took the actual trigger off now. So I can have a full brake if I need. Let's see how that feels. But yeah, this first impressions on this controller, brand new out of the box today, just started using it. I love it. Absolutely love it, man. This thing has been really cool. I'm really happy that Thrustmaster was able to send this over to me. I know they were having a few issues, I think, over the holiday season with getting this over. So I'm glad that we finally got one over here. Here we go. Can't let the car slide like that. You know, tomorrow's also April Fool's. Don't get God out there, man. There's people going to be trying some heavy stuff on people. Just keep your eyes open. There we go. Coming around 700,000. With our brand new Maki. -E. We can get over a million. I'll be happy. Because that's been usually the struggle on a lot of these cars. Is to getting over a million on the uh, Canyon runs here. But we've never used an all-wheel drive car either. Like this thing is, this thing is swinging ass right now, man. Look at this thing. Oh my god, we never usually get this much on these straights. Here we go. Yep. Oh yeah, we're definitely getting over a million for sure. That is going to happen today. But how much over is that going to happen? Right here we go. Big run up this hill. I'm gonna guess maybe 1.1 mil, maybe hopefully. Oh my god, maybe not even a million. Did I do it? Oh, wow, I'm counting I'm counting everything before they even hatch. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you, we got 1.4 mil. Oh. Damn, that's it? All right downhill here. I'm going to go ahead and swap sticks. Let's see the difference here between the two. Pop these new ones in. Bang. Grab the other one. Bang. And we're good to go. Look at this, man. Right away, we're driving. How sick is that? Okay, one more run here quick. Let's see how we do. Oh. Boy. Quite the run there. We just tapped the brake a little bit. Ah, sorry. Power out of that. Power out of it. Sorry. Oh, my God. Yeah, I don't, I don't really recommend the snow tires. Ooh, a little bit of speed. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's not going to work. We're going to do this, though. Let's go. Oh, jeez. 
Uh-huh. That was pretty cool. We went through the tree! Oh, not that one, though. I did notice as well, too. Gearing. We may have some crazy top speed on this thing. We're going to go all the way to max, which is simulating a top speed of only 183? What? Go. Push. Push. We can do it. Oh, my God. We're actually smoking tires with this thing. What? Why won't you move? Go. Am I pushing it back? A little tug of war right now, man. What the heck is going on? Okay, I'm so sorry. Let's go ahead and hit it reverse. How fast are we going reverse? Oh, boy. Oh, we're going so quick. One wheel peeling in reverse. Holy shit. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. Out the way, sir. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty happy I found this out right now. Is this the fastest car in the reverse? I'm not really too sure. We're in all-wheel drive as well, too. And this is interesting. <laughs> just trying to just keep it straight. It's actually a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Okay. We're just doing a casual 134 in reverse with our mach -E. Oh, my God. Well, this is interesting. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> just lots of people doing a... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 140 in reverse. Please, yeah. Just hit the exit ramp. Back on, back on. Come on. Oh, no. We're going way off course here. Excuse me. Yeah, coming back. I'm coming back here. Damn. Yeah, okay, we're looking for a top speed here. In reverse. Yeah, excuse me. There we go. There we go. The snow tires. I don't know if the snow tires are broken. But this is kind of fun. Okay, we got to dodge. Oh, boy. We're not dodging. We're hitting. Okay, we got to get into the other lane, though, man. We're just going to keep on plowing into AI. <laughs> Look at that little guy. Go, go, go. 140? 142? This car is faster in reverse than it is forward. How? 170? 172? Come on, come on. Stop peeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm white knuckling this damn controller right now. This is wild. 174. Come on, can we crack 200 in reverse? How is this possible? Some good engineering out here, Von Gittin. God damn, RTR boys doing big things, man. Car that goes faster in reverse than it does forward. I can't believe it, man. Huge thanks for watching. I've seen it all for today, man. Forza Horizon 5. Man, let me know your thoughts down below here on Forza Horizon 5 and the brand new Mustang Mach-E. Don't forget to click the links down below to check out the brand new Thrustmaster controller. Uh, this thing has been really cool, man. Really cool that we can just kind of take out the stick if we want to and replace it with another one, right? Let me know your thoughts down below. Huge thanks for watching. I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. I'm out. Peace.